All right, so this is going to be a brief video, but it's been coming up a couple of times. So I thought I would share and it offers something powerful if you recognize it. A lot of suffering happens in this world because of our identification with our thoughts and a lack of understanding around how the mind works. Now, I'm saying suffering in terms of psychological suffering, not pain to the body in that sense of suffering. Suffering that is created in the mind, right? Thoughts of worry, fear, stress, anxiety, shame, guilt, lack of self-worth. This kind of suffering is a massive part of global society's pain that we experience. However, you are not the thinker of your thoughts. And you hear that right now and you probably think, okay, this guy, what do you mean? I do think my thoughts. No, your thoughts happen to you. If you were the thinker of your thoughts, let's run a short experiment here. Then what will your very next thought be? And you just sense the spaciousness. You don't know. There is no way you could tell me exactly what your next thought would be. It's not as if you're standing in a grocery store looking at all potential options of thoughts that you could have and then consciously choosing, I'm going to think about this right now. But when we identify at a rapid rate with our thoughts, thoughts happening in our mind all day, thoughts about what to do next, thoughts about what's going to happen in the future, thoughts about what happened in the past, thoughts about how I think about myself, our awareness and attention then is identified with the thoughts. And this creates a story that creates suffering. But when we start to see that we can be aware of our thoughts, we observe our thoughts, then it's not about trying to change the thoughts. It's just about noticing that there is a thought, which may be a fearful thought that is happening right now. And when I notice it and observe it, I don't then need to identify with it. I don't need to believe it. I don't need to become the fear. So each thought is like a cloud passing in the sky. But you, awareness, have the ability to be aware of whatever thought is appearing and then just allowing it to pass without trying to catch the cloud, without becoming the cloud, simply remaining the witness, the observer, the awareness, the sky, which notices whatever thought is arising and then passing. Use this, reflect on this, and remember that you are not your thoughts and start to see how this shifts how you relate to others and how you experience reality. Because more and more gradually this will unfold and you will no longer identify with whatever suffering or fear-based thoughts are being offered to you.